I always heard my scripts exactly. I was pretty uh, confident about uh, the way scripts should sound, but I never really attacked scripts filmically, and I thought this would be something new to really actually see um, what I'm hearing or feeling sometimes as opposed to saying it. And um, so that gave rise to the fantasies. And also the fantasies was, were a great luxury because it didn't have to bear any connection to reality. It could be an exaggeration of a feeling or an emotion. Um, and it, filmically it was great fun uh, and very, very entertaining. Um, so, and, and, and the voiceovers too were meant for a departure of what Allie was thinking uh, versus what she was um, saying or how she was behaving. Um, we were able to actually discard the voiceovers pretty quickly in the series. We used them occasionally as we went on, but less and less so, and that was because we had Callista who had a face that uh, you, didn't, you didn't have to tell the audience what she was thinking. Calista could say one thing and with her face fill the audience in on what was going on inside. So that again was just, we got lucky there. We, that was an ability of an actress that just allowed us as storytellers to be better at our craft. Well, the Dancing Baby, so I, I, and I wish I could remember the name of the person who created it, but you can go and find it online. Nothing, and my assistant came in and said, you've got to see this. I didn't even have a computer or get on the internet. You've got to see this crazy dancing baby. And uh, she pulled it offline somewhere, and I looked at that, and I oh, my God. I was both riveted by it, but I was kind of scared at it at the same time. All I knew is I had to have it. And I thought, well, if that, that could be the manifestation of Allie's biological clock, that would be pretty cool because here she's excited maybe she wants to have a baby but it's the most frightening thing known to mankind at the same time that that that's the perfect fantasy for that so uh we reached out to the person who had designed it and um they said yes and then the dancing baby became part of the show but uh, that's that was somebody else's creation where we were the complete benefactor of that